Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. We have a comparison today, so we are gonna get stuck in straight off the bat. Let's go. Now, two prime lenses, both 50 mil, both look the same, both 1.8, both made the other side of the world, China, Malaysia, yep, Malaysia, one is a Canon, one is a Yungnau. So, the Yungnau costs me 35 quid, brand new. The Canon, 185, brand new. I didn't pay that, but that's what it costs brand new. Um, so, what is a prime lens? A prime lens is a lens with a fixed focal length, normally with a fast aperture, i.e. low f number, f2.8 to 1.2. I believe Canon do make one that is 1.2, but probably costs a lot more money than what these do. But these are brilliant for portrait. On a full frame lens, you're looking at about 85... Oh, um, crop sensor lens sorry you're looking at about 85 mil which is a damn good portrait lens obviously on a full frame you're still at 50 mil although whilst testing this there is a slight difference in the focal length on these so that's interesting but um what we're gonna do we're gonna pop off out we're gonna go into a field we're gonna get some shots and we're gonna come back and we're gonna chat comparisons and go over the two so meet me in the field right i'm walking down uh Walk down this path, the usual one that I take to work. And yes, as you see, the sun is out. Probably just blinded you back there slightly. Hopefully not. Um, but yeah, I'm going to walk down this path and there's an opening. Now uh, you've got, there's a nice bench there, a little viewing point. Um, I wouldn't say it's going to win landscape of the year or anything like that. But for these photos, just to do the comparison for the two lenses, I'll do a nice sort of close-up one, you know, f1.8 to really blur the background. I'll do that on both. I'll do sort of an f8 to f11 shot just to see how crisp we can get all of the, the feature and uh, all the depth and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna run a couple of shots when I get to this uh, nice little opening up here. Stick with us, we'll set up and then we'll test some shots and see how they come out. Right. So I'm at this uh, opening, okay, you've got a massive oak tree here, the bench is over there, and some apples on some trees that I'm gonna do my sort of F1.8 shots at. And I'm set up here, just two second timer, and that's my view, like I say, nothing glamorous. Don't go this side, sun's going to be in your eyes. Nothing glamorous, just to purely show when I zoom in how sharp it is, what the difference looks like before it's zoomed in. Because I think you'll be quite impressed, but until I get back and have a good look at them, I'm not sure myself. So, um, yeah, we're going to go back in a bit, get the photos on. We're going to talk a lot more about build quality, price, everything. So stick with us, I'll get these shots, and I'll see you back in the studio. So, we've been to the field. We've done some shots. I'm going to get to those in just a second. First, I'm going to talk build quality. So, we have cheap, I'll do it by the mic, plastic, China. We have Canon, still a slight bit of noise, but nowhere near the same. You can literally turn the, uh, let me just turn it to there, you can move that entire ring. Um, but it doesn't make a difference when you take a photo, unless you're well, I don't really know what's even moving. It's not the glass, it's just literally the, the focus ring. Um, so anyway, yes, we've got what they are. Build quality, this, like I say, is plastic. Now the back of this is plastic. The back of this is solid metal. And the fit on the camera for this is solid. It literally, it's almost like, I don't know if it is slightly magnetic, but it literally feels like it just, it just connects. It's very, very nice. This one just feels a bit cheaper. But does that affect the quality? Clearly, there's got to be a difference in glass, although to look at, I can't see any difference whatsoever. So we are going to go through some shots and have a look. Stick with us. You may be surprised. Right, here we've got some shots. You'll see on the first one here, this is from the Canon. All the first pictures are the Canon. The second picture is going to be the Jungnau. I've done a few different settings, some to increase sort of the bokeh in the background and stuff like that. So this is the Canon, and we'll just zoom in and check out the quality. Stays pretty crisp. This is the Young now, which actually must have about 45 mil on the focal length. Again, this is the Canon. You see the crispness is quite good no matter how clear you go. And in fact, it almost looks like it gets clearer the closer you go. The Young now, it's just not quite as sharp. 
But remember, we're talking 130, 150 pounds worth of difference between these two lenses. Is there 150 pounds worth of difference in the pictures? These two were both shot at 1.8, and then the next ones, I believe, were shot at f4, um, just to sort of get a bit more depth of field. They do say the sweet spot is three steps up from the lowest aperture. Um, don't know how true that is, it's just what I've read. So again, this is the Jung now. I've focused in on the W, that is the focus point on this. So we've got Canon first, and the Jung now coming in second. With not a great deal of difference. Now here, this is the Canon. You can see the bubbles in the plastic. This is a sign in my garden, shot from a pretty decent distance and cropped in real heavy. You see the Jung now is quite blurry. So that is, if you ask me, that is the difference if you crop the hell out of it. To just stand there and take a shot. I've done a lot of jobs with this lens. It's slow, it's noisy, it's plastic, but it's 35 quid. It, it does work, it, it, it is quite good. So, I mean, I'll let you guys sort of see the comparison for yourself. Um, if you're on a budget and you want to go out and practice a bit of portrait and stuff, take this lens. Get get the cheap one like I did and learn it and practice and have a bit of fun. I only got the Canon, quite frankly, because I got it at a good price. So I was like, I'm having it. And I'll probably sell my Jung now one for exactly the same as I paid for it. Um, they're both in immaculate nick. Nothing's wrong with it. Like I say, focus is a bit noisy, a bit slow, a bit quicker. Be quieter. Um, yeah, I don't really see much more difference. So it was a quick comparison just to go over those two lenses. Massive price difference. Personally, not that much difference in the picture quality. And these are on the Canon 80D, so it's not like I'm using a cheap crap camera and it's limited by its lens. It's a good camera to start with. So I don't think you're going to get much more out of the Canon, except build quality. It'll probably last forever. You could probably drop it and it'll bounce back into your hand. I imagine you drop this one, it's going to go, well, it'll probably float down, it doesn't weigh anything. Um, it'll probably just, just land nice and gentle. Who knows? I don't want to drop either, to be quite frank. But there you go. That is the comparison. That is a cheap Jung now versus a more expensive Canon. When I've got more money, I'll go and get the L-Series, and then we'll get a real comparison on. Um, but I haven't got that sort of cash. So I'm going to keep selling cheap stuff and see if I can make some cash and buy a better lens. But until that time, and until the next video, we will meet again. Peace out.